And welcome back everyone. What a beautiful day. We broke a record here in Beckley, but Bluefield in Lewisburg stayed just below the record. It is 81 in Lewisburg. I think the record's 83. 80 degrees in Oak Hill, 81 in Beckley. We are all seeing summer-like warmth and the pollen is responding as well. As a matter of fact, it's in the high category today, but with the changes in the weather pattern coming, not as much sniffling and sneezing Thursday and Friday, but don't get used to it. It will come back over the weekend. Here is the local radar picture. We have a couple of cumulus clouds. I overlay the satellite too. I want to show you where the development of the thunderstorms will be. The breeze pretty isolated this evening, but right across the Greenbrier Valley, we're going to see a couple of thunderstorms develop and move to the north and east, and the timing between about 7 and 10 o'clock. We have a line of very intense storms. This one's racing across the nation's midsection, tornado watches, severe thunderstorms watches as it moves east. It is going to move over I-79 this evening, but we are going to be spared. We may see some lightning though from it and our future cast really pointing out this evening where we're going to have those spotty thunderstorms developing. So for any of those softball and baseball games, if thunder roars, go indoors. Should be about a 20 minute delay. That's about the extent of it. Here's the temperature dichotomy. While it's very warm in the east, we flip over to the other side of the front. We are in the 40s and the 50s. When this front comes through tomorrow afternoon, you will definitely notice it with the change in the air mass. Now, with all the severe weather across the nation's midsection, what can we expect locally? Just a low threat for heavy rain. We don't have any damaging winds, hail, or tornado threats going forward through Thursday. So tomorrow's local game forecast, we already talked about today with a couple of isolated thunderstorms. 80% of the games will be fine though. Mostly cloudy skies, it will turn cooler in the evening. That front tomorrow comes through between 2 and 4 o'clock. Temperatures dropping from the 60s into the 50s later in the day. And here's your seven day forecast. 100% chance of rain as it comes through. Again, between about 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. 69 the high, we're down into the 40s. Friday and Saturday, a couple of sprinkles, not a washout by any stretch of the imagination. Temperatures in the 50s, stunning. Easter Sunday, gorgeous. Do not cancel any Easter egg hunts. We are in the 60s then next week, and we are back in the 70s. Wednesday, and because of the extended period of some dry weather and the potential for some winds to pick up by next week, we do have an elevated brush fire risk because we could definitely use the moisture. Now, I think we're going to get too much in the way of rain this afternoon and once we get into tomorrow with the frontal passage. Yeah, I mean, it's been beautiful. I mean, I know yeah. it's been hot for a lot of people, yeah. but this is, I've been telling you, this is my type of weather. It's, it's been beautiful, man. Yeah, the seven day forecast has your name written, written, name written all over it. It, it does. <laughs> I've, I've, been in the, I've been in my man's ear 24 seven telling him this is what I want and you're bringing I'm it delivering. to us. So great stuff. <laughs> well,